This evening we have a 2022 Chevrolet Suburban Z71 package. This one is very well equipped. I want to go over some of the good features on this one. Uh, usually I do these at daytime. This one, just to show the illuminated bow tie this one does have. The Z71s have the red tow hooks below. It's high gloss black paint aluminum wheels. Your steps, they're off-road inspired steps. This one does have the adaptive uh, air, air suspension with the, we can raise this up and I will do that in a sec. You don't get to see these at night. Of course, all your blacked out features on here, the name plates are blacked out. Somebody didn't go over. With the keys in the pocket, what you'll do is where this bow tie is at on the ground, is you'll kick your foot like so, and that'll open and shut it if the lift, lift gate's programmed to be on. These buttons back here lower the seats, their power. These buttons here will tumble the second row. Push it again, it'll actually tumble forward. Third row, you can actually raise and lower this back seat. As you can see, Suburban has a lot of space in it for carrying your gear. There's an extra outlet back here. 120 volt. We'll go around to the side. I'll close this lift gate up. This one's equipped with the bucket seats in the center. It has these very large media system in the back so each person can individually watch their own videos. With these two HDMI ports below, another plug-in another USB-C on each side and your heated seats on these outboard seats. Had this been a bench seat, this middle section is not heated. And you do also have your rear climate control on here as well. An overlooked feature on these and some of the traverses, you have this center airbag to keep the front passenger and the driver from hitting their noggins. As the large panoramic sunroof, Power driver's seat and these are heated seats in the front as well cool thing about this when you actually have your your forward and aft up and down your recline and then you have your lumbar uh, power for the passenger there this one has the bow stereo step around here's a shot of the window sticker my 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 how much they went up that shows you all the goodies that's on there this one does have the 5.3 v8 with the 10 speed automatic it's another view of that bow tie in the front end i do have this one raised up a little bit go ahead and show you how that operates to get the maximum height you got to be in four wheel low to adjust that this is the button that you use i'll go ahead and show you how to do that now so we're back in this suburban and just showing it is in the off-road mode just to, to show the angle this vehicle is at so what I want to do first is I want to go to neutral which is there it's a push button and then I want to go over to my transfer case and go to four wheel low and on here you're going to see its display is changed your Ford collision system is disabled And this is where you can adjust the ground clearance with this dial right here. So you use the dial to change it where you want it. I had it at the start of the video at the maximum. So now it's lowering. I'm going to lower it all the way. And you can't lower it that low because we're not getting out of the vehicle. Okay. You can hear the vehicle lowering. You can feel the vehicle lowering as well.
and that's the normal height that the vehicle's at. I'll go ahead and put it back in four wheel low and raise it. Now you can see the icon blinking. That means the vehicle is raising for the height. You can actually feel it. As you can see, it's quite higher because of the full two inches. Now I'm going to put the vehicle back in two-wheel drive. So I'll go to neutral here and I will go to my two-wheel drive, which is right there. You can watch on the screen, it's going to change on the height once you're in two-wheel drive mode. So it's already back. Try to zoom in on there show you. There we go. While that's lower, and I'll demonstrate this feature I usually don't get to because it's too bright when I do these videos, is your dimmer. You can see our thing's getting darker. All the screens. If I want to brighten those up, I just hit this button here. And very, there you go. That's your automatic headlights. It does have an integrated trailer brake controller. This is where your parking brake is located now. Your lane departure warning. Remember, orange is on. Your parking sensors. Your traction control and stability track. This is your hill descent control. That's used if you're going down a steep hill. And usually when you're off-roading or driving down a sketchy road, that's when that's used. That'll help the transmission keep it from getting a lot of speed. This is a cool button for 2022, it says 360 button. And what that does as you're parked, I'll go ahead and put it back in park. It lets you see your camera at the touch of a button. On the cameras, you can cycle through the different views. This part hasn't really changed very much from 21 to 22. I always like the curb view on there to see where your tires are. That's super cool. This does have your trailer hitch view. Pretty nice. And your guidelines is what that is. Something else that's really great on the 2022 models is you can now customize your user interface, which you can edit this over here. This is the left side and then the right side. And of course, even the lower side. To do that, you go through the driver information center, which is here. This is your toggle wheel. And all that's going to do is show you what's on the next screen. I went ahead before I started the video and I, I turned all the options on. So let's say you want to change that screen. You want to go to where it says I for information to see each one. And I'm just using the roller. All those features show up there. Now, if I want to go and change my screens, I go to this gear, which is right here, to show my options and what my info gauge wants to be. So I can customize my left here. I can change my display layout. This is pretty neat. This is new for 2022. You can do a classic, a progressive. Notice everything's changing. I'll zoom out a little bit. You have a digital display. And this is kind of nice, the clean one. Just wanting the basics. You don't need a bunch of stuff showing. So I'll go back in the classic. And then the next thing we'll do is I'll go to the left info and I'll show you how you can change that. So you can change what you want to display in that left window. So if you want the tire pressures or your compass or something to show up that way, you can. Time and temperature is pretty popular. And I'll go to the right side and I can move stuff over there as well. If I want to make fuel economy show up there, or I can make none show up. It's whatever you want to uh, customize it for. And that's pretty cool there. The drive mode is, is pretty nice view there. We'll stick with that one. We'll go to the lower gauges. We can do maximum show. Show you all your icons there, all your gauges, medium and minimum. So it just depends on what you want. Pretty nice. We'll just leave it there. Those buttons are right there. So we're going to scroll over to this window here. That's your large display, 10.2 display. 
that carries over from last year but now you have two screens this digital display has been very sought after the transmission stayed the same you have your park is a button reverse is a trigger neutral is a button and drive is also a trigger and you have your low range mode what that is a range selection so if you don't want to you want to control what your vehicle stops at on gears you just push the l after you're in drive and right there it says l1 plus l2 l3 i don't know i'm doing this hitting plus that's all i'm doing all the way up to 10 or you could just put it in drive and let the computer do the work for you all right so they've added the google google uh, on here as well you do have your trailering guide on here you can add a trailer you can import from your my chevrolet app if you have a trade-in that's already set up you can even do the guest trailer you can have the extra camera set up on here and what this is is a checklist if you're if you're hooked up it just lets you go through all these items that to make sure you're good you can customize that as well you can check your lights out once your trailer's connected it'll you can sit here in the lights and check those out super nice there's your music and there's how to pair your phone and your Google Assistant is up here. Hey Google, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow in South Charleston, it'll be rainy with a high of 66 and a low of 32. And you can use that same feature to do text messages, calls, weather, sports, whatever your heart's content. Down below you have your home button, your skip buttons for your radio, and your back button. All that does is shuffle between your home and your back button. That's all it does. This is your volume control here. Your volume control is also behind the wheel. And your radio stations are behind this side. Down here is going to be your driver climate controls with your heated seats and your passenger and your HVAC controls. Down below here, you have your plug-ins, USB-C, USB, and this is a charging port. You can't really see it very good. I'll turn these dome lights on. And that's where those are at. This one does have your power panoramic sunroof. There's the operation to slide the sunroof back. And then this is your, your little shade. It goes all the way back. And that will tilt your sunroof there. Now, this is the sliding armrest, which is down here. As you can see, it's extra storage, and you have a hidden little storage under here. Pretty cool. Here's your home link. That allows you to program your garage door opener, so you can just push those buttons to open your garage or a gate. That's your, that's your dome lights with the door. There's your collapsible seats from up here and your power lift gate. You can do max or three quarters simply means program or turn that son of a gun off right there a lot of even a lot of goodies up there on the top if you're interested in this suburban or any other vehicle that we've got go to buywithbenny.com please like and subscribe thanks for watching have a great evening